Here we're going to have a midnight review of, uh, I never pronounce this exactly right, but Fio, Fio, Fo, Fum, whatever it is, uh, you know the deal. This is a um, I1. An I1, uh, I guess that stands for Apple. And uh, it has, uh, yeah, it has to be. It has a lightning plug on one end, and then it has the uh, headphone jack on the other end with a bunch of stuff. And uh, so if you have an iPhone 7 Plus like I do, then this is the inside of the box. Just this uh, sleeve on the outside. And uh, then the little box opens up, and inside you get some instructions, a little warranty, whatever. And instructions are somewhere else. So anyway, here's a little cable here and on this end we have the headphone jack adapter and then we have uh, I don't know if we can see these controls on here or not boy these are really hard to see even in the daylight we are focused on there yeah you can see a little indent start stop indent right there and then there's a plus and minus for volume and probably the next previous uh, works well on the uh, iPhone 7 but uh, I am not sure that there's a whole lot of advantage using this on an iPhone 7 uh, since the uh, little adapter I, uh, Apple gives you, since it doesn't have a headphone jack, uh, has a DAC in it and it gets pretty good reviews. And I didn't really make any critical test of it, but I did make a pretty lengthy test uh, compared to uh, using an iPod and uh, listening to the headphone jack on an iPod. Obvious difference there. But again, that's you know an iPod uh, latest generation, plain old iPod Touch. So uh, I don't know, the iPod probably doesn't have as good a deck as the Apple iPhone 7. Don't really know. Anyway, here's this little gadget. It has about a um, looks like about a almost a three foot cord here. Well, the cord looks a little bit thin, and I don't see any real strain relief. A tiny little strain relief on that, that end, but. Pretty much nothing on this end right here, so I guess you have to be pretty careful with this or it might break. But anyway, uh, let's see if we can do an example here. Uh, I've got a uh, wireless headphone on, but it does have a um, place to go wired. And let's see, we don't have a headphone cable in here. It must be in one of these other boxes. Ah, yeah, here we go. Got a lot of little pouches here. So here, um, this particular cable came with, who knows what, maybe this is the uh, B&O uh, headphone cable, standard. Looks like we have a standard two connector on either end. Okay, so we have the regular generic connector. But you know, that doesn't matter. Because when you plug this in, and we're going to plug the headphone cable into this end, you got to push in pretty hard because... Uh, I got it in only uh, almost all the way, but not quite, and uh, didn't pick up all the channels. Picked up either left or right, but not both. And then into my B-Moda Wireless 2 headphone here, we are going to plug this cable in, leave it off, so we're going to go wired. And then, let's see what we can do here. Maybe get this going. And then we plug this into, well, you know what? I'm actually using an iPod to uh, to uh, film this. And so we will plug this into the iPhone instead. So here's my iPhone 7 Plus with the lightning port. And we will plug this guy into the lightning port. It's all black, so then I see, oh yeah, we see that pretty good right there. All right. And then if I turn this on, See if this thing plays. Oh, it comes up with that. Okay, I already cleared the prompt. It comes up with a prompt when you uh, first fire this up. Uh, and the prompt says, you know, install the app, the file app. And, uh, and it has a, a click for ignore, so I click ignore. It looks like I want to get prompted for that practically every time or every time I clear the uh, music player app or whatever. So anyway, I just click ignore on that. And then... Um, Let's pick something generic here. Um, yeah, come on. What do we have here? Yeah, there we go. Is it playing? Let's find out. There it is. Yeah, it's playing. Probably can't hear it very well. 
and uh, yeah, it's working. Okay. So uh, anyway, in comparing this to the iPod Sound, there was a difference. The difference is um, not huge, even with the iPod. Uh, the difference is that uh, it sounds like it has a tiny bit more treble and uh, and a much better sound stage. Noticeably better sound stage, just a tiny bit more treble, but I don't know if that's just better extension or if it's really a little bit brighter. Kind of hard to tell. Um, now, the app may have some options to change it. In fact, I think it does. It has some kind of equalization or something in it. And it may be that without the app, I'm getting something that's not perfectly neutral. I don't know that either. I don't intend to get the app. Try it. But uh, just a little heads up in case you get this thing. And uh, the thing about skipping the app is you might want to try it anyway just to see if it changes the sound in some better way. But uh, there it is. That's the Fio I1. Is it I1? Did I say I1? Or is it I something else? Uh, where's the box? Here's the box. And it says I won. How about that? So, I don't know. It seems like an odd thing to do, because they're, um, you know, because uh, the new devices. If you're going to use a headphone jack, usually you're going to use a dongle on the sevens, and uh, so this would be for the older stuff. And uh, it does seem to make an improvement with the older devices. So who knows? You know, forty dollars, thirty nine ninety five, not bad. I'll give it a guarded recommendation, just as long as you know all the caveats on it. File I1, thank you very much.